Okay, so let's continue with our uh, next uh, Kafka Python tutorial. So continue with, uh, with our Kafka Python tutorial series. And in this video, so we already covered, in the last video, we already covered the special topic called consumer offset and schema topics. Right, so what are the consumer of offset and what are the uh, uh, con schema topics? So these are the special offsets. And if you want to see the data, we can see the data as well. But in this video, we are going to cover KCAT, which is the Kafka cat. So till now, if you go to our project, so till now we are creating the topics into the red panda cluster. We are producing the messages. We are consuming the messages, but everything we are doing is using the Python code. So we have the ever producer, everything we are doing using the Python code. But can we do the same thing using some utility, some command line utility? So the answer is yes. So what is the command line utility? utility? So kcat. So kcat means Kafka cat utility. So kcat is a utility. Earlier it is called as a Kafka cat, but now there is a short form called kcat. So it's either it's kcat or either it's Kafka cat. So both are same. So Kafka cat is a powerful command line utility designed to help you interact with the Kafka topics, produce the message or consume the message or whatever. Like uh, basically these are the mostly general commands which we are going to use day, in day to day to life. Like to see the metadata, to list the topics, to uh, to produce the messages to consume the messages or or there could be so many other options all right so if we open there is a github page for the kcat utility and if you scroll down so it is here kcat is the project formerly known as the kafka cat right so and it is mentioned here how you can install the uh kcat so if you are on the debian system so you have to install the kafka cat not the kcat but if you are on the Mac OS, then you have to use the KCAT. So if you are on the Debian, Debian means like you are on the Ubuntu, then you have to use install the Kafka cat or you have to use the KCAT. So I, I am on the Windows. So Windows is a little bit like a, a different process. So what we can do is, uh, what we can do is we can open the Ubuntu. We can open the Ubuntu. So so in windows 11 ubuntu is uh, automatically provided so this is not something which i have installed or you can go to the microsoft uh, center and you can type the ubuntu here ubuntu air and you can install that app if it is not there so it will automatically uh, come so you can just open the ubuntu Now what I have to do is I have to install the Kafka cat because here if I again open it. So for the Debian. So but they have suggested they suggested to run this command. All right. apt install Kafka cat. So same thing we can do. So first we can do is sudo apt update. We can update it. We can update the packages. All right. And after that we can sudo apt install kafka cat so kafka cat is already installed because like uh, i already installed but if it is not installed it, it will be like uh, automatically installed if i do kafka cat now you could see kafka command uh, kafka cat command is like uh, available okay so let me clear that screen now kafka cat command or kcat command is is the utility or the command line utility which is going to interact with the kafka topics so first we need to make sure our kafka cluster is up so let's uh, um, run our kafka minus f docker compose which we are running in almost all the videos so let's go to the local host refresh it so our kafka cluster is up all right so now, uh, earlier what we are doing is either we are creating the topic or producing the message using the UI or most of the time we did using the code. But now in this video, our purpose is to learn the Kafka cat command or kcat command. All right. 
So we are going to run a couple of command example list metadata. We are going to produce the message. We are going to consume the messages. So let's try. So what we need to do? Kafka cat. So Kafka cat has to interact with the Kafka cluster, which is a broker. So minus B is for the broker. Now we need to give the endpoint URL of the broker. So how we can know the what is the endpoint of the broker? So this Kafka cat, this Kafka cat command is not running in the is not running in the Docker, right? So it means it is running outside the Docker. If it is running outside the Docker, then we have to use the advertise Kafka address and we have to use the external address. So localhost 19092. So minus B localhost. 19092. Okay, so now we have tell uh, the uh, Kafka cat my Kafka cluster is running on this port, right? Now, minus L2 lists the metadata. So if I hit enter, you could see metadata for all topics. We have one broker which is running on, on this port, we have one topic which is like a minus schema because I, I already covered. We have like two topics. One is minus schemas and one is like consumer offset. Consumer offset is not visible. If you want to see the consumer offset, then you have to like uh, uh, provide, I think, minus I to, to see the uh, hidden uh, indexes, hidden topics. But using the Kafka cat command, we have interacted with the uh, Kafka cluster, right? Now let's, let's look at the second command. So list metadata is done. Uh, and the other thing is like uh, so other thing is uh, thing is like if you don't want to install if you have the windows and and you have the older version of the windows and you don't want to install the ubuntu right though it's very easy you have to just open the microsoft so like uh, store center uh, and you have you can click on you can search the ubuntu and just install it but let's suppose it's not available then you can run the kcat using the docker so you have to run the docker run minus it minus rm network host you have to provide the network because you are running into the docker and our docker cluster when it runs so by default it, it is going to create the host network but when we are running outside so you have to pass the so that it should be the part of the same network minus minus network host you have to give the image if it is not there it will come you have to give the minus b for the broker node and then minus l for the command you can run that then okay now we have to produce the messages so how we can produce the messages so kafka cat so if you come here we don't have any topic so if any very fresh here we don't have a topic right so kafka cat minus b is for the broker first we have to tell where is my kafka cluster is running right now you have to produce the message so where you are going to produce in some topic let's give the minus t minus t for the topic so let's give the my topic or you can say my test topic or my kcat topic anything right now so we have tell minus b to connect with that particular cluster minus g to uh, that particular topic but whether we need to produce the message whether we need to consume the message we have to give the minus b minus b is for the produce if i hit enter you could see it is asking me the message so let's try hi this is first test message and i hit enter and now to end that whether the message will go or not because if i will if i just hit enter and if i click here and if i come here so the message is here right so you could see the message and if i hit the another message hi this is second test message and if I refresh, you could see the second message has been come. So using the Kafka cat or kcat utility, we are interacting with the actual actual cluster, right? Or we are interacting with the Kafka. So it is very handy. Like whenever you don't, you have to quickly do something, right? So there is no need to write the Python code or Java code. You can just like run the command line utility so let me press ctrl d just to end that now so list metadata is done produce is done so let's look at the second uh, third command which is to consume the message so kafka cat command minus b localhost 
19092 we have to consume from each topic so k cat i find topic now we need to produce the message or now we need to consume the message so we need to consume the message so we have to do, do like give the minus a and if you hit enter you could see it read my first message it read my second message and it is mentioned say reach the end of the topic and uh, and there is no more message right now press control c all right so we have covered three commands so one is the list metadata and another is the produce message another is the consume there are so many more commands you can go to the kcat utility so kcat is formally kafka cat utility for confluent platform kcat formally kafka is a command line utility that can be used to test debug apache kafka deployment you can use kcat to produce which we already does already done consume list topics and partition of information of the kafka describe the netcat for kafka okay and if you scroll down it is clearly mentioned minus b for the broker minus t for the topic all right along with that if you just give this command like kcat or kafka cat minus b localhost minus 192 minus t my sql server so as an example let me give this command without minus c or minus p and if i hit enter you could see auto selecting consumer mode so if you are not going to provide minus p or minus c by default it is going to select the consumer mode all right and it again consume the messages so the same thing is like uh, mentioned here by default it is consuming the consumer mode so if you are specifically want to produce a message then you have to pass the parameter minus p and minus c it's up to you if you want to pass and if you don't want to pass by default it, it is minus c only all right so yeah there could be like uh, other option as well like if you want to see the key then you can pass the minus k uh, argument so there are like a, a couple of more options so you can like go through it so as an example if you want to consume the message from the particular uh, particular offset then you can pass the offset using the minus o option and if i go here and if i type kafka cat you could see there are so many options there are so many options so let me go so see if you want to consume the message from the particular offset so that is the consumer option so you can you like with minus c that is the, you can give the uh, minus o and you can provide the particular offset number and here it is the producer option so if you want to do some some delimiter you can pass minus k or something like that there are so many options so you we don't need to cramp all the options and these are the general option general option is minus c is the produce consumer mode minus p is the producer mode minus l is the metadata list minus q is the query mode all right minus t is to like a topic to consume from produce to or list minus p is the partition minus b broker minus d for the delimiter all right so minus k is for the key delimiter minus c limit count message minus m limit message count so there are so many option uh which might be not useful all the time all right so but the mainly option is you should know how to produce the message how, how should you consume the messages all right and these are the metadata options which were already covered but there are so many options if you want to give a try you can like uh you can try all the options but uh the main crux of this video is we should know there is a some utility exist in the market this is a command line utility which exists in the market through which we can interact with our kafka and that is a kcat or you can say the kafka cat okay so that's it that's the end of the video and uh, thank you